it's Raziel Kane and I'm back with another toy review and today Warpath and I know I'm very late on this guy but you don't come here for the latest uh, news or figure but um, yeah I had no intention of picking that uh, character up because I never actually liked uh, Warpath he was one of these character from season two that I didn't think were you know that interesting uh, I liked Beachcomber I like uh, Grapple and Inferno uh, Hoist to an extent mm, Red Alert a little less but then the mini bots uh, like Beachcomber I liked uh, but Sea Spray Power Glide uh, never had much affinity with them and neither uh, did Warpath but then uh, Cosmos I really liked and now they announced him at the last uh, fan first Friday well by the time this air it's gonna be like I don't know September so uh, yeah and uh, the um, because they are gonna do Cosmos well there's a chance that they're gonna do Beachcomber and Power Glide and Sea Spray so I'm like well I better get Warpath so yeah and actually, I'm happy I did pick him up because he's actually quite fun. The engineering on this guy is uh, very different than what we've seen before. He's a better transformation into a tank than Megatron from uh, Earthrise. I don't have the Siege one, but uh, I, 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 heard, I hear it's similar. But uh, yeah, I really actually do like the transformation on uh, Warpath. And he's a faithful representation of the character. I just don't have that much affinity to that character. Well, let's check him out but before I do that I want to remind you to check out my voice acting playlist the main feature of my channel something I'm extremely proud of and also uh, take a look at the interviews I did with a couple of the voice actors that voiced the G1 cartoon and also don't forget to stick to the end where you can get that 10% code for my sponsor DJC collectibles it's applicable for anything transformers and now on to the review So um, from that clip, you, you can, that's what kind of annoyed me with uh, Warpath, just his old speech of wham bam stuff. Uh, a lot of people dig it, I don't, but whatever. So let's start with, well, there's a card inside and I, you know, I'm not going to miss those things. Legacy don't have them. And uh, yeah, the crashed up arc again. So yeah, I'm not going to miss it, but I do plan to eventually open because I kept all my boxes just in case I move. So I have all the cards. So I'm thinking maybe one day I'll actually do a binder where I'll remove all the sticker. God, see, that's another thing. This is full of bubbles. There you go. So I want to do a, um, there's a list on TF Wiki where uh, they show everything that you have on top and under. And so I want to maybe try to do a little compilation of everything. So uh, yeah, but um, because there's some rarer ones and uh, but most of them are pretty common uh, the accessory you have this which pegs onto uh, the shoulder according to the instruction never was part of the animation model in G1 but that's where it goes the box beautiful artwork uh, a little smashed up uh, which is see it looks more like cut but uh, Everything was inside, unless uh, I'm missing a gun. No, there's no gun for this guy. So that's a little sad. I mean, yes, for the plate to clean up in transformation, it goes in front here. But eh, I don't know. I, I would have liked a little gun. So I'm sure Larkin or Firetalk is going to do something. So, artwork. No, nothing hidden. I don't know. There's a camera here. Never noticed that. It looks like, I don't know, maybe a can. Well, it. It's not really a camera, but I don't know. And the arc on top was crashed. Yeah, it looks really good. And then you have the instruction. I know some people, that's the favorite part of my review. So pause when you need it. Just trying to be helpful here. And now, Warpath himself. Um, always somehow this, and maybe I'm late on this, but... The, the, to me he looks like a footballer 
with rollerblades. I mean, look at these skates, man. Maybe that's because I'm Canadian. All I see is rollerblades. Well, I say rollerblade, but you know, I should say ice skates. But with all the wheels, uh, he has huge rollerblades. That's that's all I can see. But he's still a faithful representation of the character. I mean, in the animation model, this would flatten out a little bit, but it looks okay. Then you have some kibble under the arm uh, because you can't fold everything. I mean, they could have added an extra joint to fold it in the inside, I guess, but that's more of a masterpiece thing, I guess, or third party. So let's do a couple, I'm gonna remove this. So the head goes around very loosely on a a ball joint uh, so you can have attitude and everything you have uh, you, you know that ferris wheel of an arm uh, it can go up like this you have an articulation uh, 90 degree at the elbow and you have a hand rotation I think those are quite important to have uh, for posability if you want to play but he doesn't have a gun so who cares and then you have if you lift this up you would have or do you Oh yeah, you can lift the skirt and then you can marry go around that waist like... Oh, is she... that's a tight waist. And then you can... Uh, he's kind of loose at some part, but yeah, you can split him like a log. There you go. And you have that wonderful 90... Well, actually, it's not even 90. Actually, that would be 93. Haha. <laughs> uh, you have the ankle rocker because of transformation. And now it's stuck. There we go, click, nice click. And you don't have a toe tilt? No. So there you go. He's not superbly articulated uh, on uh, the foot, but the rest is pretty good. So now let's do some, oh, let's peg that back so I don't lose it. And now let's set him up and do some size comparison. I don't know how you did that, but it sure felt good. So here is Warpath with Siege Impactor, a very different tank, Earthrise Megatron, Eject, and Earthrise Optimus Prime. E hoist, old buddy! I think it's time we BAM join the party! And now for transformation. You're gonna take that guy and just start like pulling on that little stub here to form the cannon, like this. And we're done. Look at this tank very faithful representation of warpath so let's take a look at the details in tank mode and he's quite good he um the the, the whole turret uh it rotates you know there's some good articulation here but it doesn't completely go up it just the tip uh, so i don't think you could actually fire a missile like that or a rocket or a shell but Eh, it works. Um, I love the treads. Honestly, yeah, I'm really regretting them getting this guy sooner. I love the detail on the actual tread. Like, even under, you have this whole uh, detail. I mean, it's not full, but on from this angle, I love the wheels. But also, I love all those little details for the mechanism that they added. So, that's really cool. And all the... Uh, you know, I don't know what's that called, the connection points so that they go at the right place on the wheel and they get pulled and everything. So that's really good. Uh, this is, a, you know, sticking out like a sore thumb. But, you know, it's necessary to a degree. And the Autobot logo looks uh, pretty good, well placed. He's very red, so I'm sure Toy Hacks is going to have something for that. Uh, you have a painted um, blast effect uh, port and then you have an unpainted one. I don't know why that would be a thing but eh, it happens i guess uh blast effect compatible here looks really good and uh you have to make sure that these uh you know little things uh stay uh tabbed uh, properly because you know this you have to push it down so that it connects uh to the bottom and uh but then it's sometimes gonna unconnect here so and then same thing on the other side so you have to just if you want to display him nice. I love how the back end cleans up way better than Megatron. Honestly, this is I can I hate this transformation part here because it I, I don't have a proper grip on it to move it, but wow, cleanup's really good. But then you just have a little bit of crotch uh, that sticks out. So not that bad. And it rolls. 
pretty good. I mean, you don't see it because of the tread, but the little wheels, they do their job, so. And for some quick size comparison, here he is with Siege Acid Storm, Studio Series 86 Sludge, Eject, and Siege Impactor. And as you can tell, I didn't bother transforming Megatron because I don't like that transformation. So let me put him back in robot mode and uh, do my final thoughts. <laughs> Guess I just ooh, ruined his day! <laughs> Indian Warpath is a figure I regret not picking up sooner. He's actually really good. The engineering is fun. No QC issue on my copy. Uh, he's very red. Toy Hacks probably will break that up a little bit. I like the details in tank mode, the treads, the wheels, the, the rolling mechanism. Very interesting. Cleans up really nice in front and back in uh, out mode. Robot mode is a very faithful representation of Warpath. I can hear his annoying speech pattern just by looking at him. He doesn't have that much kibble, just, uh, you know, a little bit under the arms, but nothing really in the back. And beside those huge rollerblade wheels, I think he's pretty good. He's fun. He, you know, he does the job. So that's going to go on my season two shelf. No problem. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, subscribe and hit the bell. Also, leave a comment. I love reading those. And remember, nothing in life gives you a right to be an asshole. Take care.